98. I feel like the Halbardo is just... It's just so much better. I, I mean, it really is just... It's just so much fucking better. And, like, obviously, I, I'm including the amount of upgrades I could do, right? Because obviously upgrades will make it better. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like it a lot. Strength staling? Yeah, I know. You ever use it special, though? Yeah, I know. I need to use the special more often. I, I think so, too. Yeah, I'll do that soon. I'm not that worried about it. You gonna check Reddit before ending? I actually completely forgot about checking Reddit. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna check it, okay? Yeah, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna check it. Kind of sad that weapon's so much better than anything else. Um, well, I think that it's also, like, my playstyle. Like, my playstyle is keep enemies at the longest range possible. Because, like, do you know why I, I like doing that? It, it's a little, little kill boss. Nope, I'm not gonna kill him. We're killing him tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning. That's the plan. Future for WoW content on your stream? I don't like it whenever I feel like my entire stream and everything about it is, like, it, it's at the at the whims of let me just close the game there uh it's at the whims of like other people like making mistakes or making like doing things wrong etc and, and like i think that's kind of uh that's why i was so frustrated is like i can't like i was hoping that the game would go faster because to me i don't mind wow streams it, it's not about wow streams that i have a problem i i just don't like uh what do you call it I don't like doing the same shit over and over and over again. That's, I think, the com the complaint that I had. It's out of my control. Yeah, like, I like having the stream be on, an, in my control. Uh, I've got to wait for the anti-cheat of Elden, uh, Elden Ring to, to end. It's key that other people do not make mistakes. Yeah, and, and the thing is, like, I and I'm not perfect either. Like, I don't want to make it seem like, oh, yeah, I'm this great, amazing guy that, like, never makes mistakes. Like, no, I, uh, I make mistakes too. And, um, let me make sure I close that. Maybe, uh, I don't know why it's happening. This hasn't happened to me before. Okay. I think it's going to work now. Yeah, it should be fine. So yeah, that, that's kind of the way that I feel about it. It's kind of, um, you used to say, wow, it's a good streaming game. Cause it's basically background content. Yeah. And also I don't even people choose Horde over Alliance they decide to play in the same faction I don't know do you own the Asmongold live YouTube channel uh, Asmongold TV is my official YouTube channel just hit a million subscribers uh, but besides that um, I don't really do a whole lot else I'm not sure if we own the other one I actually haven't talked to my editors about it, about it or not, or not. Uh, 9 minutes of ads feels bad man oh I'm only getting started man yeah, I'm about to hit you with so many more. Like, you think nine minutes is bad? <laughs> Talk about a half hour of ads. Artesian build stock? Well, as I said before, I mean, OTK is sponsored by Artesian. Obviously, you know, like something big like this happens. And, of course, we'll discuss it internally, right? Uh, am I really willing to, like, I, we have employees, everything like that. I don't want to go out and just kind of speak for myself whenever uh, other people's livelihoods and things like that are... Uh, you know, involved with the org. And so that's why I didn't really immediately condemn it, right? But I mean, I think that you guys know how I feel about it, right? I mean, it makes sense. So, yeah, I, I mean, I think I'm just going to give it some time and see what happens and then go from there. There we go. That's better. Respect that. But I mean, like, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll give you this clip, right? The guy acted like a complete asshole, and he should have said ahead of time that, uh, what do you call it? Uh, that if you don't have a follower account, you can't join. It should have been, like, very clearly stated. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not gonna not say anything. Like, of course. Of course that's true. Post an apology thing on Twitter? Yeah, I, I haven't looked at that. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, let's see what over here. do you want? What's the better game, Elden Ring or Lost Ark? What's better? 
ice cream or steak? Which one is it? Because it can only be one or the other. You either like ice cream or you like steak. Ice cream? Okay, steak sucks. I hate steak. That's probably the only time y'all will ever hear me say that, by the way. Now, I'm going to do some more stuff on Lost Ark. The thing is, also, I think with WoW, like, another factor is... You guys want to know, like, the honest-to-God truth? I'm having so much fun playing this game. Like, I'm playing this game off-stream. Like, I I'm going to probably go... I'm going to probably go, like, Chipotle or something like that. And, like, I only want to play this game in Elden Ring right now. Like, that's it. And, like, I talked to s and we might be playing PUBG Zombies soon. And, like, so we're going to obviously do that too, right? That would be really cool. But other than that, man, like, I just... Yeah. Turn it down a bit? Yeah, sure, man. There you go. With McConnell? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I really do. You can stay on stream and play that. You don't need to talk or anything? No, no, I I'd like to... Uh, I want to keep my streams entertaining as much as I can be. Can we see your skins? Because you're so cool. Uh, I don't even know what skins I have. If you guys want to just tell the guy, I'm not really sure what they are. Like, I just got those just by playing the game, and that was about it. Uh, or actually, I bought the uh, the Founders Pack, or whatever. I mean, actually, you want me to be even more specific, I didn't buy it, somebody gave it to me. So, yeah, there you go. As I said, I just really like the combat in this game. I, I just, I have so much fun playing this game, it's awesome. It's like everything good that I like about PoE and Diablo, it's like, basically, I felt that Diablo's combat is actually better than PoE's. I know this might be an unpopular opinion, but I, I prefer Diablo's combat over PoE's on a fundamental level, right? Now, obviously, PoE is just simply a better game, and better games have better combat, but on a fundamental level, I feel like the Diablo combat feels better, it's more visceral, it's more responsive, it's just better in that way. And uh, it also, like, takes the complexities of PoE that I love, and it takes the MMO aspect of games that I just really enjoy, because I like being part of, like, a shared world. It has a stupid but endearing story. Um, like, there's just a lot of good things about the game, and uh, I really have fun playing it. So yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's I think, probably like one of the big subtexts here. Like, any time that I'm frustrated playing another game, it's because I'm not playing the game that I want to be playing, you know? And, and it's this game right here. I'd give it a try if it wasn't pay to win. Yeah, I know that it really makes a lot of people, like, uh, antsy and, like, uh, apprehensive. And I don't blame you. Like, I, I feel like most people, I feel like people should feel that way. I'm glad you feel that way. Uh, but I, I just really enjoy the game. I, I have a lot of fun with it, regardless of it being pay to win or not. Like, I'm still just having a lot of fun. Life is pay to win? Yeah, it is, but that doesn't mean that video games have to be the same as life, right? The only pay to win spot is getting the high item level. I mean, that's not really true. I mean, like, any... Like, basically any progression system in the game can be accelerated, almost any progression system can be accelerated with real-life money. Like, I feel like that is the definition of pay-to-win. Or at least it is for me. I mean, everybody has, like, a different definition of pay-to-win. But in my opinion, if you if you can increase your character's power at the end game, uh, by... And, and, like, even if you can do it... Like, let's say, like, oh, you can either pay money or or something else. If paying money is an option, it's pay to win. Now, I feel like gamers, like, I wish gamers hated pay to win as much as they hate NFTs. Uh, then we'd never have a game like that again. But unfortunately, like, there's a lot of gamers that, it sounds sad, right? But they take pride in, like, spending money. They're like, wow, oh, you don't like pay to win? You have money? Like, they're like, oh, you're poor because you don't like pay to win. Like, no, like, it, it's just weird, man. It really is. Hardest raids are equalized? Yeah, but like that doesn't really matter to me. Like the fact that the hardest content in the game is not pay to win doesn't make me feel better because I'm not doing the hardest content in the game. 
Uh, I'm just doing other content in the game. I don't think that there should be every single, like, I don't judge the content and, like, if a game is pay to win or not based off of want? content that less than 1% of the population participates in. Like, I, I look at it from the perspective of, like, what does mo what do most people participate in? And it's that. Why does it matter if someone else uses money to do what others do to use time for? Because I think video games, in a lot of ways, are seen as an equalizing force. And uh, in the... In the uh, in the pursuit of games being an equalizing force, I think that a lot of people play video games and they appreciate video games because they give people in, in the world like a, uh, you know, as much of like an even playing field that is independent of nepotism or money or circumstances of birth that you can just have. And I, I think that's why people dislike it so much. And that's why I have a problem with it is because I think that games do provide that value for people. And I think especially for, like, young guys and stuff like that, um, I, th I think that's a big thing. I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, MMOs are so, they're so well-liked by so many people, and people had such good, uh, such good opinions on them, and they felt that well way about them, they liked them so much, is because those games were the, uh, they were the equalizing force in our life, you know, like, and, and I could be projecting here, but this is the way that I felt whenever I was young, is that, you know, I was always looked down on because I was 16 years old, right? I mean, like, if you're a 16 year old, you're basically a useless loser and you offer relatively no value to society, right? And like, people don't take you seriously. They just treat you like a kid. And like, that's about it, right? But if you play a game and you're really good at the game, you're put on the same playing field as everybody else. You know, people as, as you know, same age as your teachers, right? And um, uh, I think that's extremely valuable for, uh, for, for young people. As they should. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is like, uh, I think that like kids and like uh, young, like, for women, like, I don't, I mean, like, I, I feel like your gender, like, if you're a male or a female, like, that plays such a huge part in, like, your perspective in the world, especially in, like, uh, Western society. And I know people are going to say, like, oh, no, it's not. It doesn't. I think it really does. And so, like, I can't really say, like, what it's like for a woman or a girl. But what I can say is that for a guy, I think it's, uh, it, it's very much like that in that, uh, you know, in many cases, you're not taken seriously because you don't have, uh, you know, X or Y thing. You don't have the IRL achievements uh, and, and not the in-game achievements. So um, I think that's why so many people react emotionally uh, bad to, uh, like, emotionally, ne like, negatively on an emotional level. That's a better way to say it. Uh, they react negatively on an emotional level about pay-to-win mechanics in video games is because for many of those people, video games was their escape from real life's pay-to-win mechanics, right? Whether it's somebody that just happens to be born and they're six foot three and you're five foot six, or, uh, you know, their parents, you know, own a company and your parents work at the company, right? Uh, one or the other, it's kind of all the same. So I think that's why a lot of people, uh, that's why a lot of people react emotionally to it is because that they remember how valuable that was for them. And like for some guys, uh, y you know, they get that out of sports. You know, I, I know like S fan was in sports whenever he was in school and um, other people get it out of, um, you know, academics. But I think there's a lot of people out there that you know, don't really fit into any of those categories, and they use video games to be kind of that, uh, that, that tool where they feel like they can still, uh, they still have autonomy over their own destiny, and they still have autonomy over, like, what they are. And I feel like that's why it's so, uh, they're, they're so well-loved. Rich? I mean, like, I don't, Rich grew up pretty poor, too. Um, but, like, all I'm saying is, like, everybody is, is different, right? And, like, there are some people that have the same, uh, had the same situation that I did, right? I grew up, I didn't really have a lot of money either. But, you know, like, Rich didn't, and he loves pay to win because he feels like it gives him an ability to do what he couldn't do whenever he was what young, you right? And, like, I think that's reasonable. I mean, it, it seems like that makes sense why somebody would feel that way. Sure.
who's being told what they're going to be, but playing social games allows you to establish an identity. Yeah, it allows you to establish a, uh, an independent identity from uh, what society gives you or what society allows you to have. And I think because of that, you see a lot of people who uh, really appreciate video games for that reason. But it's, it's very hard to say, like, what is Crushing Fist, Master of Escape, that, that's not good. Masturbator, Awakening Contender, Crit Specialization, that's almost really good. I feel like I could maybe sell that, but it doesn't have, like, BIS stats. Like, I'm only going to sell things that are pretty much BIS. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully, like, what I'm saying here is, uh, it's making sense to you guys. Okay, what do we get here? Level 3, Assault Blade cooldown? Oh, who cares? Okay. Oh, I actually need to learn that. I was wondering, so Gale Wind, do I get two Gale Winds? I do, okay, cool. So I guess if I'm using two Gale Winds, Gale Wind is like my best one. So... Over, I, I really like stagger damage for that. Iron wall damage. Um, that's my gale wind for that one. Red dust, sword storm. Aura blade. I don't really think I care about that too much. I think I'm gonna go with uh with hell blade. Yeah, I mean I'm not really sure if this is the right decision or not, but I'm just gonna go with it for now. All right, let's go ahead and knock this one out. I'll do these two tomorrow uh, for bosses. Uh, I guess I'll just solo it, why not? Hmm. I see Anduin cinematic, yeah. I mean, I just feel like they've done Arthas really dirty. I, I really do. I feel like they've done Arthas like super dirty and it's just so unnecessary. Is better solo do it in a group? For me, it's better to, to do it solo because like I know all of the mechanics for this boss. I will never die on this boss. Actually, I might die on the boss like once, right? But like uh, it's very unlikely. And so because I, I know what I'm doing, uh, like, I, I, for me, it's definitely better soloing. Like, this boss, I feel like, again, like, all the Guardian raids, uh, I do really like them a lot. Nah, I thought he, I thought I could hyper armor through that, I guess not. I think I got hit by that, unfortunately. I've got to get more used to, uh, uh, get more used to doing these. Do you get drops if you're in a group? Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. You get the same stuff, it's just you're doing it with more people. That's all. I'm stunned still. I I'm not supposed to be playing this way, I'm just, uh, being an idiot. This is a stagger check, I just learned that actually recently. Uh, I didn't even know that was a stagger check until now. Okay. The thing is, like, I shouldn't be taking this much damage. Like, it, it's not, like, good gameplay. But, uh, I'm it doesn't really matter, you know? I actually really like stagger checks in the game. I, I, I just, I, I like the idea of them. But, um, you know, it, it's not really a surprise that... A lot of people don't really understand them. I think as a Berserker, I probably have, like, more stagger abilities than, than most other classes do. Yeah, if I hit him with that, it just does so much damage. I should have actually done this first. Oops, that's too bad. It's my fault. Also, like, uh, another thing that people might not really know is that, uh... Like, one thing I really like about these bosses is that I like getting really, really good at them to the point where I just understand every single nuance that they have. For me, I find it very fulfilling. I think I'm gonna save my, uh, my Dark Rush. 
So he never does a double. There we go. What? Wow, that's crazy. I, I... How did that not break him? He always does a double if he gets the empower on. Stagger gets harder each time? Oh, I didn't know that. I think you can't stagger this one. You just have to run out for it. I forgot about his wings. Ooh, I thought I could jump through that. That one's really... I, I, I kind of... I don't really know how to avoid that attack. I don't know if I don't like the attack, but I don't really know how to, how to deal with it well. It doesn't really matter. I'll just wait for him to come back over here. Okay. Oh, he's over here. Oh. Hmm, probably dead. It's too bad. I didn't know he did that. Uh, I'll just go back to some video. You mentioned not liking Guardian Raids. What made you shake your mind about them? I like Guardian Raids. I just don't like the way that they're designed. So, like, I like the idea of Guardian Raids. I don't like the fact that solo players have to deal with mechanics that are designed for a group. And I also don't like the fact that, like, for example, I think having to find the boss and using flares is just a... It's an unnecessary step. Like, I, I feel like this, it adds, like, no real value to the game. And it's just, like, here's a problem, and we are giving you the solution. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's just a waste of time. It feels bad. Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I, I don't really like it. Okay. It's supposed to be like Monster Hunter, but it doesn't work well here. Well, I mean, I understand that like what the what the design goals are and what the design intentions are, but I just feel like it's not something that I enjoy. I, I think that's the really way what it comes down to is like it's just not MMO RPG is designed to be played with others. Well, the thing is like I don't agree with that. I don't think that like if you give a player an option to do something, that option should not be a trap. Like I'm understand like I understand that like. And I don't, I think that they should be equal. Like, they should be equal in challenge. But I feel like if one mechanic, if dealing with one mechanic is a, uh, is like 300% harder whenever you're playing it solo, and there's an option to play the game solo, I think that's a problem, I do. Two mil. Jesus, I feel like I'm going to kill him really fast here. So that's how... Th that's that's the way... Oh, I thought I hit the wrong button. Oops. Ah, shit. I'm making mistakes. Let's roll through that. Double pecking. I always forget, like, I try to figure out, like, which ones I can immune to and not. Big, big damage there? Yeah, I know. Uh, so, yeah, it's like the, the fight is designed for a solo player to go in. And it's also clearly... It's like the fight, as I said, is like, it's clearly designed. Hmm. I feel like I should have broken it there. I probably should have just used Dark Rush instead. Okay. 
It's gonna heal in case you stunned me. The rotation did first two times to get more stagger out. Yeah, I think I need to use Dark Rush a lot earlier. I got really lucky there, it didn't hit me. Oh, oh, the ice block messed me up. So yeah, just like in general, like, I mean, I've said this many times with like video games, is like, I always find like difficulty, uh, difficulty variants that are like built around the idea that, you know, oh, you can't, you can't see what's going on, like darkness in this game, for example. I really just don't like difficulty metrics that are ba based around like a lack of, of information. Like for example, I, I don't like how uh, the Guardian raids don't tell you how much health they have. Like for me, uh, I know there's some people that like that because they make it feel like it's another game. But to me, I, I don't really like it. Like it just, it makes the fight I think it's a big reason for that is like it makes it feel more tedious, right? Because like you don't know, it's like, okay, how, how much longer do I have to do this for, right? Incorporating grenades in your kit. You sound sad? No, I'm not sad at all. I, I, I had a great stream today and I had a lot of fun. I look forward to being back online tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm gonna be back online tomorrow morning and we're gonna just keep playing. You can tell by phases and rages, etc. But you really can't though, right? Because like it's not, it's not a, uh, it, it's not like this is always the way it works. Like it, there's, you're right that that's like a rough indicator, but it's not a, uh, a guarantee. I think he'll probably be dead soon. I think I'm going to save my Dark Rush for whenever he does the Empower. Nice. Okay, here we- oh! Interrupted him. How about that? Why does it matter? The fight's the same length either way. Well, I don't know. Um, I feel like it's, uh... Why does it matter to me? I just want to know. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, I just, I want to know how long it's going to take. I don't know. I don't think that's unreasonable, is it? I mean, I just want to know. Uh, maybe we use Sword Storm? Yeah, let's use Sword Storm for this. Oh, I do this. Oh, oh, I'm still inside. I can't do it. Let me make sure I harvest his soul, too, before I forget. Psychological? Yeah, yeah. Talk about like, equalizing. You take gold, upgrade materials from viewers, so... Yeah, I know that. Like, the thing is, and that's why, like, I don't really ever... The thing is, like, the game has to prevent players from doing that, because, like, everybody's gonna take an advantage if they have it, right? It's the same reason why pay-to-win is there. There's a lot of people that don't necessarily like pay to win, but they'll take advantage of it if they can because it's it's easier for them. Uh, I think that like of course I'm always going to do something that's better for me, right? I've not I've never been a person to like handicap myself based off of some sort of like ideology. Uh, I think it's just kind of weird to do that. And uh, also like I don't want to like my goal as a player is uh, not really as a player, right? I'm streaming the game, and whenever I stream the game, I want to make it as entertaining as possible and. Uh, there's certain parts of farming that I don't think are entertaining, and so I don't do them on stream, or I have people give me this stuff instead. There we go. I'll try and do it with a group, and we'll see how much easier or harder it is. Mm. Be more careful if he's low and you're out of lives. I just, yeah, I just want to know how much health he has. Yeah, I mean, that's literally all there is to it. Providing some exposure to the game, supporting pay to mentality among devs. Yeah, I know, but um, I, I'd ra I just want to play the game. The thing is, like, a lot of people always want me to do something because, like, they view me not as a person, but as a entity or, like, a force. And um, the truth is that I just want to do what I want to do. And I want to play what I want to play, and that's it. 
Why not add a health bar setting and turn it off if you don't want one? Uh, that's a great question. World boss in seven minutes. Where is it? Did you prep Elden Ring content? Uh, no, actually, I, I don't do anything like that. Uh, I had gone to one area, and there was like an area where there's like two tree knights or something. And uh, I went there, but I never went up that way at all. Make an optional soon nice. Yeah, yeah. Who would actually turn it off? Nobody, because it's a bad idea. find another good ability. I don't know what I want to use yet. I think I'm going to use Power Break. Because if I use Power Break, I also have that for uh, for weak point damage. Which is starting to be an issue in like uh, Abyss Raids. got that one off. Messed that one up. It's too bad. Can't lag there. Maybe I should just get my uh, my interrupt, my uh, stagger thing. Uh, see if we can maybe break it. Uh, no, not quite. Too bad. A lot of people don't really know how stagger works in this game. And to be fair, I mean, I only had one ability, but uh, I feel like probably everybody else didn't do anything. That's too bad. Run away. What was your player talking about? Nerfs? I mean, it's not my like player race's fault for not knowing what staggers and counters look like. Rub, rub me the wrong way. Yeah, I, I watched that video today. Uh, I thought it was kind of, uh, like, I mean, I liked it, uh, uh, the video was fine, right? But, like, it does seem really stupid that it's like, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna blame people. It's kind of like the Virtus thing, you know what I said? It's like how, like, this, your, your, like, counters are always, like, indicated with blue, and then the boss turns purple because he's enraged. Like, I just, I feel like that's, like, just obviously bad design. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to ever convince me that that it's not. I mean, it's just it's just bad design because players are you're, you're taught one thing and then you're not doing that thing. And so, like, there's a lot of ways, and like the worst thing about it, I think, to me, is the fact that the game already has a solution for it because like it has a stagger bar that exists in the game already. But, like, it, it doesn't use the stagger bar in the Guardian raids because it's like, oh, well, you know, it makes them harder, which is, that's true, it does make them harder. But I think that a better experience isn't necessarily always a harder experience. I think there's a lot of times where, uh, you know, you have uh, encounters that are, you know, very difficult or challenging, but they don't provide a lot of enjoyment or, uh, you know, uh, fun. And I think that's kind of where... Uh, th that's kind of where a lot of those bosses do. Uh, well, those bosses lie. I messed up. Stagger bar is specifically for Titalos. You just need to stand and stand tornado. Well, yeah, yeah. I just, I feel like just a, in general, a stagger bar would be it would just make the experience a lot a lot smoother. With a stagger bar, if you don't trigger it, the whole group dies. That doesn't happen in Guardian Raids. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the case, but, and also, like, there are a lot of times whenever you, you don't make a stagger check and it actually doesn't wipe the raid. Like, that's not necessarily all. Okay. Um. Let me just go this way. It feels like, yeah, they're just removing 
They're removing information from the game to add artificial difficulty. That's the way I feel about it. Where is he? Oh, there he is. That's too bad, I shouldn't have done that. Jesus. Bro, he loves to move. He really, he really does. He loves it. We're gonna get it here, 100%. Yeah, I already had it precasted. Jesus Christ, that was a lot of damage. Holy fuck, that was a lot. And this one right here. Might as well. I don't know if that even hit him. I hope it did. Uh, I thought I could time it better, but I didn't. Made a mistake there. Nobody counters? Uh, no, nobody really ever does counter. The thing is, like, countering the boss is, like, very counterintuitive. Like, why would you counter the boss if you could just follow him? And there's, like, a 0% chance of, of, of dying. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's the way I feel about countering, is like, why would I counter if I can just move away from the boss? Oh, you're not gonna do it. I'm gonna die. It doesn't really matter. I got frozen, that's my own fault. Actually, I mean, not really. I mean, the tornado kind of spawned directly on me. Just it is what it is. I wouldn't have gotten frozen if I didn't have stacks. There. Okay. Very bad take about countering? Well, if it's such a bad take, then why does nobody counter? Like, if the risk reward is so is so much better for countering, then why does nobody counter? See, it's a lot faster. In Korea, it's necessary? Yeah. Ne uh, guaranteed stagger, huge GPS increase for entire team. Yeah, I know that. Great. Countering is useless in my opinion as Shadow Hunter. I'm too squishy to stand in front of the boss. Yeah, it's like people don't want to take the risk. Uh, it's a much better idea in many cases to just uh, to just move away from the boss. Like, it, it, and the thing is, like, sometimes you're gonna get certain encounters where like you have to counter, right? I mean, you you have to counter the boss for like one thing or another, but you don't have to. You see what I'm saying? It's not that easy to counter, to be honest, especially if you're melee, you have to back attack, you want to counter it. Yeah, exactly. It takes a lost Darkest of dog shit. I think there's a lot of people what that are just stupid want? that uh, they don't understand what I'm saying, and they think I'm saying something I'm not saying, and because of that, they get mad or they think that I'm dumb. Which, like, the truth is that, like, it's evident in player behavior that I'm right. Like, the, the player behavior, like, says that I'm right. You wouldn't have so many people that don't counter if countering was actually worth it for a lot of them. 
because countering, like, basically, like, can, if good players can counter, like, yeah, sure, but most people aren't good players. So why would they try to counter a boss? It's too high of a risk of a risk with too low of a reward. So they're not going to do it. And also, a stagger from a counter is different than a stagger from, like, actually de depleting a posture bar. A, sta a counter stagger is very short. It's maybe two, two spells long. Whereas a posture bar uh, stagger is, like, five seconds long. A lot of your opinions are right, uh, but a lot are wrong. Uh, it's not about catering towards casuals. Like, I'm not... If you think that... Like, I don't think that I'm wrong. I, like, nobody has presented me any evidence that, to make me believe that I'm wrong. And I think that if people really thought that I was wrong and they could articulate why, they would tell me why I'm wrong. But everything that people say is just stupid. And the reason why they can't tell me that I'm wrong is because they don't think I'm wrong. They just disagree with what I'm saying. Uh, just correct window, yeah. Casually mandatory in first Legion raid, yeah, yeah, for sure. And like, if that's the case, then people will have to learn to do them. But like right now, and like the content that most people are doing, they don't have to counter. And so why would they counter if they don't have to? That's like exactly what I'm saying, right? It's like, yeah, of course people are gonna have to counter in like the Legion raids, yeah, sure. But they're not in the Legion raids, so why would they do it? Like, why would you do something that you don't have to do? To learn? That's not how people approach things. It's just not how people approach things. Like, I, I understand, like, this is, like, what you, what, like, you think makes sense. But based off of player behavior, that's clearly not the case. They don't, yeah, people don't learn things until they have to. That's just, that's just how it is. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not defending it. I'm just explaining it. I, I, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying this is good or bad. I'm just saying this is how people approach games. Path of least resistance. Yeah, they're going to take the path of least resistance every single time. And the truth is that not countering is the path of least resistance. It has the lowest risk and it has a minimal punishment. Do you think they should be forced to add counter in tier 2? I don't really care. If they did that, I'd be fine with it, right? Or if they made the counter abilities, like, more dangerous. Getting a counter feels big dick, though? Yeah, it does. Play Gun Lancers, you're not getting counters off taunting, they should stop playing Gun Lancer, play DPS. Yeah, I probably agree with you on that. You're right. I'll do like two more ads and I'm done. So the same thing, T1, Tier 2, or poorly designed and countering compared to Tier 3. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of people that really like Lost Ark and they view that if any, any discussion of the design of the game is like hating on the game or whatever. Where it's like, that's not really what it is. Feels rewarding, but it isn't. Some bosses it's better not to counter. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like it's actually better a lot of times to have a boss run past you, because if the boss runs past you, you can get an attack from behind. Can I give you thirty percent more damage to boss in that window? It'd be fog. Well, it does if you have the right engraving, but like most people aren't going to have that engraving. Also, I can do something else. Well, it's just players. Like it's a, it's the same thing I said like with Margaret, right? In uh, in Elden Ring where I thought Margaret was too hard of a higher, of a, of a first boss. And like, there were just so many people who like, literally just could not understand what I was saying. Like they, they, because they're so fixated on the idea that the harder something is, the better it is. They're unable to like, think about it critically at all. 
or like they can't see anybody else's perspective except for their own. Whereas if Valentin comes out, judge then, there's no point discussing it now. Well, of course there is, because now is when the game's out now. Why would I not talk about it now, whenever the game's out? Like, what, what, what does that mean? Just because it, uh, it's a game good doesn't mean it can be improved. Yeah, like I think Elden Ring, for example, like uh, I think Elden Ring is gonna lose a lot of people because it has like those really hard first bosses, that hard, that really really hard first boss. Because I think that most average players are going to immediately go to Margit and and hit that boss, hit that wall, and then quit the game because they get frustrated. And I don't think that's a good thing. I, I think that's a bad thing. Because like you want to have as many people in like the player base as possible in, in general, and like as a uh, as a developer, like how's it good for you whenever you have somebody who's uh, uh, you, you have somebody who who's like you spent like years of your life working on this game, and then they just quit the game because they don't understand how it's supposed to work, right? I mean like I, that that would suck, right? As a game developer, for that to happen, playing Souls game, I know it's too hard. It's just like, and that's what I'm saying, right? Is like a lot of the surface level, uh, the surface level criticism for what I'm saying is like really, really dumb stuff like that. Like it's not about it being hard. Like Margit is a fundamentally harder boss than any other Souls game at the beginning, right? Compare Margit to uh, the Last Giant in Dark Souls 2, or to Vork or uh, uh, Champion Gundir, or sorry, not Champion, uh, Ludex Gundir. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, it's a substantially harder boss than, like, any of these other single bosses. Not Sekiro? Is he, you gonna tell me, like, Margit, Margit versus, I guess, like, the thing is, like, Margit thematically is like Lady Butterfly, right? But realistically, you will probably encounter Margit at the same time that you would encounter, like, maybe the Chained Ogre. Or something like that, like, you won't even, like, in terms of, like, hours played in the game. You can literally summon help, though. Yeah, I think that definitely helps a lot. I think a lot of people don't want to do that, or they just don't know how to do that. It's just, they're just dumb, right? Got it. But at a certain point, yeah, you can't save people from themselves. It was made for an established community. Yeah. What do you want? Hmm. Disagree about this only holy. They don't have to do anything. No allowed to cater to any audience they want to cater to. Do you think that if you ask the people that work at From Software, do you think that they would say Miyazaki or any of the guys that work there would say that? seeing probably the huge cliff that players drop off at after they beat their head against this boss do you think this is good do you think any of them would say yes i think unanimously they would say no i really think so. i really think that they would say no Do we encourage the get good mentality? I think that the uh, the quote get good mentality is something that 
like Dark Souls players use to mask any sort of uh, negative feedback that the game gets. Because to a degree, they're right. Like every every problem is solved by being better at the game. Like you can beat the bot, you can beat Margit with fists with no armor at level one. It would just take a very long time. Is bordering on a Souls game in a difficulty setting? No, I, I don't think so at all. Since when have I become this casual? And that's the thing, right? Is a lot of people think that this is why it's so hard to have conversations about this in, in like with video games, right? Is that uh, people have like they've built up such an ego over being good at a game that any criticism of the game's difficulty is a criticism of their ego. So like they, they feel like they have to defend it without thinking about it logically. back here. Nope. Almost, so. Same thing with Bloodborne. 44% of the player base killed Father Gascoigne. Basically half the buyers experienced the game. That's sad. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like that's obviously bad. And why is that? It's because Cleric Demon is really hard and you can't over-level for Cleric Demon. Like, for example, uh, and, and I don't really mean the Cleric Demon is hard, right? Because it's not. But it's just really hard compared to uh, other bosses in the game. The whole world agrees Elden Ring is easier than most Souls games? Well, I don't know about that. I, I feel like a lot of people have said uh, otherwise. Father Gascoigne's way easier than Marga. Yeah. And, like, if you want to use that as a measurement, right, then I would say, yeah, definitely. Like, Father Gascoigne is way easier than Marga. And it's not even close. Something's open world grinding. Uh, it's accessible, more accessible for sure. Yeah, I think that, uh,. I think that Elden Ring is a game that, like, basically, like, it gives you so much freedom. Is like, some players use that freedom and they fail because of that freedom. Because they go farther than, like, where they should be, or they just do, like, random shit that they shouldn't do. I, I do think that Elden Ring is, like, in my opinion, I think that it will probably it will probably go down as the best Souls game. Like, from my experience so far, just because of how dynamic it is. And how much, like, how, like how, how deep it is, and also simultaneously how wide it is, right? There's, like, just so much to it. It's like three games put into one. I think a lot of people will think like Dark Souls 1 is better and I can see why, but um, I I just I feel like Elden Ring is like, it's like the the masterpiece, you know? I'll do one more ad if you decide I go. Then why this you quit? I played Elden Ring for like three hours today. Tricks to just over level the boss you're trying to kill? Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Because you can get to the bad part yet? Oh, you think the game will get a lot harder and worse? Yeah, maybe it will. But, like, I'll tell you, my experience so far has been really good. Alright, everyone think Dark Souls 1's better than Elden Ring? Uh, it's a much more contained experience, and also, I think that the interconnectedness of the world. And, like, the level design in Dark Souls 1 is probably the best level design of any game that's ever been made. 
that's why. Your Margaret being hard is a problem. Not only is it too big of a wall, but some people it makes uh, the falling bosses feel underwhelming to an extent. Yeah, like I wish that some of the uh, the bosses inside of the caves that I'm fighting are harder. I feel like so many of the bosses that I fought are just so easy. Like, there's just like no challenge or strategy at all with them. Like they're just a joke. They're all meant to be done before Margaret. I mean, I, I don't think that's true whenever they're guarded by NPCs that have like three times as much health as the NPCs behind Margaret. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. I still was probably insane boss fights, probably hardest to do. I look forward to that, it'll be fun. Mods will make it harder? Yeah, for sure. Elden Ring has a problem spamming duo bosses everywhere. I do think that Elden Ring has created difficulty in the same way that Dark Souls 2 did. Where it just like, it's like, okay, yeah, but now there's two of them, you know? That type of thing. But overall, I, as I said before, I really enjoy the game. And like, that's why, like, the whole time I was doing the WoW raid, I was thinking to myself, like, man, I can't wait to play Elden Ring. And, and like, it, it's not really a secret. Like, viewership is not that great for Elden Ring, right? Like, usually my viewers go down. I don't care. Like, I, I, it, that's not really true. Like, I do care about my viewership, right? Of course I care about it. And, like, I don't want you guys to think, like, oh, he doesn't care, right? Of course I care. I mean, I think every streamer does. But, like, I like Elden Ring enough to not care. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Like, I still just want to play the game. I see Hassan's doing the same thing, too. And, like, Hassan, like, this is, like, a, a, a big time for him, too. Like, he even messaged me after I did the, the beta thing, and he was, like, asking me about all about the game. Glad you're enjoying the game. Me too, man. Me too. Thanks. So you're creating a podcast? Yeah, I am. I'm actually going to announce the channel for the podcast tomorrow. I wish I went Berserker instead of Sorceress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be on Spotify? Yeah, we're gonna have it on all the normal podcast places. Bosses tend to be hard as trash mobs tend to be. No, the thing is, like, Elden Ring, like, the thing is, what you have to keep in mind is, like, me saying Margaret is too hard for a first boss. That is, like, for a lot of players, it's, it's all they experience in the game. But like, to me, that's like 3% of the game. You know what I mean? Like, that's not even... Like, me saying that the game, it's like... Imagine if I said 97% of the game is good. I think a lot of people would probably uh, interpret what I'm saying differently. Call playing Lost Ark. He was for a while, but I feel like he can't really get into it. Is this it for counter striking as DPS? Well, I don't really. The thing is, like, if I have to counter, like, what I will do is I'll just stand in front of the boss. You know, like I, I can counter. It's fine. Because how do you counter? Well, will you wait for the boss to do an to do an attack and then you hit the boss? Or you have like a gun lancer do it, and that makes it a lot easier. And then you don't really have to worry about it. But we've never had anybody in the party that knows how to counter. Like, it's always been me. It's the same thing almost like with parrying in Dark Souls, where like, a lot of bosses, like if you know how to parry Pontiff, for example, like that just makes it a lot easier, right? But, um... 
you don't have to. And so people don't do it. God, you overcame the desire to end the stream after raiding fiasco? Yeah, me too, man. I had a great time. I'm so happy I streamed today. Uh, I, I did a, I had a great stream. I'm going to be back online tomorrow morning, you know? Like, that's, that's what's going to happen. I'm a counter god. Hit me up. But the thing is, like, being really good at counters doesn't really matter if you don't have to be. That's all I'm really trying to get at. T1 and T2 are just to get used to the system as a counter. Is relevant until tier 3. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I feel like players won't learn mechanics unless they have to learn the mechanics. Like, for example, I don't think they're going to learn how to counter unless they have to counter. No encounters in tier 1 or tier 2? Is it fights are scuffed? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. game's fun because it's hard. Doesn't mean I hope it gets nerfed. I think that the game can be fun, and I, I don't think fun... Like, for me, I don't have fun because something's hard. I have fun because something's good. I think a lot of the people that are talking about, like, how much fun that they're having in the game because it's so hard. Like, this is just my opinion. Because I think a lot of them just have big egos. They're ego Andes. Uh, how many can I buy? Okay, 17. That's pretty good. What's wrong with that? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that unless you are saying that, like, the game should be a certain way to preserve your ego. Right? It, like, it, it's more important for you that your ego is preserved than the game is good. Uh, I think that's kind of what, at least, like, my concern would be. I've been trying to do my adventure guide for uh, Yorn. Holy fuck, this area is just so annoying. Oh my god, it's so painful to do. I've almost got this one here. You gonna watch State of the Union? No, there's no reason to. I mean, Biden's just gonna say the same stupid shit he always does. It's the same thing with Trump. Like, it's no, it's not, not anything special. Like, I don't, I don't hate Biden. Like, I don't really give a shit, to be honest. I mean, I don't take anything that people say seriously at all. I only, like, listen to what happens. You know, cooking's really painful to do? Yeah, we'll see what happens. I think it's hard because the game's new. Give it time and their ego will deflate. Yeah, I think so, too. Playing world boss to give you... Yeah, what is this? Coronor? Ah, uh, where the hell is he? Let me see if there's anything crazy happening right now. Proving Grounds, Tarsilla, Chaotic Cho. Maybe I should do this. Oh, I should just go do this now. Yeah, I just wait and do this now. It's like a half hour. It's kind of a long time, but like, whatever. I'm trying to get all the island souls too. It's just taking me a while. A party of every row. I've, I'm trying to complete like all the reputations for that, but uh, it takes me kind of a while, you know. Go harvest lord. Yeah, I know. He's the. Uh... What the hell? Why can I not move? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was weird. Uh, since it's so long, I'm just gonna go around and uh, loot the other ones. Missing out, I don't do your weekly ghost ship run. Yeah, but like, I don't really worry about missing out. Like, I just want to do what I want to do. And like, so I'm just going to do this whenever it spawns. Some island souls need Una dailies, some done X times. Yeah, I'm do trying to do those, like the runaway island one. And uh, I also did, this was a really good time. Uh, I did this one. Ice Maze Isle. So, uh, yeah, that was a real pain in the dick. Ghost ships are really hard. Uh, maybe they are. Check your mail yet? Yeah, I'll check it right now, pal. Just give me a second.
Thanks. Uh, I'm going to return these. I don't want to take these because I already have one that's really good. Parts are explained in game. They don't have to continue. Guardian Investigator, Luna. They're not in explained. Like, you don't have a stagger bar in the game. It's just not. That's not how it works. Um, I'm going to return that one. 13 levels behind you. 9 gold. Thanks. Offering to the bald god. Oh, shit. Thanks. Thank you very much. The Real Dominion. I found your videos on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much. The stream responded, went on a tangent, response to one of my comments, and it made my day. <laughs> okay. The best. Thanks, Z. Hurry up. Oh my god. Yo, thanks, dude. Jesus Christ. How many of these destruction stones do you have? Yeah, thanks a lot, dude. Just got this drop. Um, let's see here. Hate this game. Take my money. You need it more than me. Thanks. Read the whole letter. Tier 3 Bard with a roster of 77, license to to 80, with 1,500 milk seeds. Yeah, can somebody invite this guy to the guild? Yeah, but uh, fucking invite this guy to the guild. He's got uh, 1,000 milk seeds. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's loot this right here. There we go. Break faces. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Sent you 5k gold. No, you didn't. Okay. All right, we got it. Yo, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. Very, very, very much appreciated. I think I have enough destruction stones to level my weapon all the way up to. 1,050? Yeah, that's way, That's more than me, man. So, yeah, uh, just in general, the way that I, I feel is like... Uh, I guess I'd really... Are you going to play Lost Ark and Elden Ring? Yeah, I am. I'm probably not going to play WoW again tomorrow. Like, I just... I, I don't want to deal with it. I, I feel like the entire experience I've had playing uh, playing the game has just been really bad. And I just don't want to do it. That's all it really comes down to. I, I just don't want to do it. Was the raid that bad? Yeah, it was. The raid was really bad. Uh, the raid was fucking terrible. Wait, and like, I don't know really if like it's all my fault or not. Send me the remaining two two mats. Yeah, sure, man. Thanks. Um, because like, because you're playing with randoms. Yeah, but like we used to always play with randoms and it was fine. And, and like now it's not fine. Like, why is it different? I think it's probably because of the. Uh, it's probably because of a lot of reasons, you know. It's not like one thing or another. Uh, Crane Star 3 with the Mokoko buff on them that reduces damage taken all times 40%. Their damage increased by 20%. Holy shit, that's crazy. That's a lot. Oh my god. That is a lot. Everyone good quit, maybe? Well, I think it's also like a lot of people probably just, uh,. They don't want to do it. Uh, I think that's another big factor. Again, with a channel of join the guild. Message Loy or the other people in the guild, guys. Please message them and they'll invite you. If you're if you're in like tier three, uh, we'll we'll invite you to the guild. All right, last one. Have you equipped the meet again uh, card set? Yeah, I have. I have that and then a two piece elemental one just for twenty percent total reduction. Okay. I gotta wait for this guy to spawn. Defeat demons? Okay. Is Lost Ark a wow killer in your opinion? I feel like a lot of people, like for me at least, like I like wow, but my excitement about the game right now is just really low. Like, I just, I don't feel excited about the game hardly at all. Uh, I don't know, like, it's just that... Like, I don't like how... I'm trying to just think about, like, what, what the best way to explain it. It just feels like the game is just, like, Song of Starlight. Uh, do I have that one? I don't think I do. Oh, looks like I do.
I'm excited about Wrath of the Lichen Classic, are you? Yeah, yeah, I'll be excited about it, I'll play it. I'm not like super excited, but yeah, sure. Well, it's too stagnant while Lost Ark feels fresh. Yeah, and that's probably because of that. You're simply burned out. But I feel like how many people have also been burned out? Like, if it's like bur being burned out of the game is like an individual thing. It's from Piano Island? Yeah, I did that whole quest line. No sense waste pressure life doing something you don't want to do. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the way that I felt about it is like, why do I want to do something that I don't want to do? Going back to old slow wow combat. Well, it's also like, I just feel like I'm constantly at the mercy of other people whenever I play wow and I do the raids. And like, I get that, like, that's the same as in Lost Ark, but I, I don't know. There's just like something really annoying about, uh, about it in wow. I, I, I can't even really express what it is. But it just tilts the fuck out of me whenever people are, like, making mistakes, and it's like we're, like, five attempts down into the boss, and, like, nobody can figure it out. It's just, like, super frustrating, personally. It takes on to prepare raids in WoW. Yeah, I think that's a big reason, is, like, spending that time. Palash, I'll do, I'll do the gambling tomorrow, man. I want to do all my leveling tomorrow. Hopefully go to Tier 3. Had fun Elden Ring today, dude? Yeah, yeah, I did. I had a lot of fun. I had fun playing Lost Ark earlier, too, even though I was arguing with people. Uh, it's just like in general, I, I yeah, I, I enjoy myself streaming. That's why I sit at the end, I just run ads and just talk, you know? I don't know, like, it's, it's good players or subpar players. That's the thing, right? It's like, I'm not... Like, I'm not a, a tier one player. I'm, like, probably a tier three player, you know? Uh, and, like, with my gear and everything, I'm, like, a tier seven player. And that's like the problem is like my gear sucks and I suck. So it's like, oh, well, I mean, that's not good. It's a pretty bad combination, isn't it? Chipotle time soon? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Was Elden Ring any less tilting, any more tilting today? No, I, I just, I wanted to play the game for fun. I, I'm, I really had fun playing Elden Ring today and I can't wait to go online tomorrow and do more of this and, and everything else. So I said before, I've really enjoyed streaming, and I'm just gonna try to enjoy it as much as I can. Now what? All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call the day, and uh, I want to say thank you, guys, everybody who watched uh, watched today. Uh, thank you all so much, and I'll be back online tomorrow morning. Okay. Until next time, boys. Son of a bitch. Son of a fucking bitch. Okay. Until next time, boys. Are you fucking kidding me? Until next time, boys. Peace!